another bit of maths and um, this is a fairly common one to come up it certainly comes up on coursework a bit uh, it's calculating the percentage change in other words you'll have two values and you want to know how much um, the value has changed by so let, let's just have I don't know what these are let's have two columns column A and column B um, and whatever my measurement is I measure something and it's a hundred let's imagine it's length I don't know length of something millimeters and um, column B it's changed in length it might be something that's growing for example let's say it's now um, 137 millimeters and the question says what is the percentage change between these two values well the first thing to notice the difference between these two values this one is bigger than that okay it's increased so if we're going to be talking about how much is it increased as a percent then it's going to be a positive value um, and, and we'll work with negative ones in a second but just be aware if it's increased I'm expecting to see a positive value now a couple of ways you can think of this the more complex way perhaps depends what you, how confident you are with your maths is to say um, the newest or the final measurement okay what it's ended up as minus the original measurement this one the one that we started with the one we're comparing it to and you divide it by the original measurement and then multiply it by 100 the only reason we multiply by 100 at the end is to give us a value as a percentage okay we could actually do without that if you you know how to work um, percentages so let's see what we get well the final was 137 minus the original which was 100 37 and we divide that by the original score again 100 equals 0.37 multiplied by 100 and it's increased by 37 percent now you could have worked that out probably by looking at the numbers I've just used these simple ones first of all so we can see that um, the formula actually works let's try it with something um, a bit more complex so let's say this time it was 97 millimeters to start off with and it went up to um, 112 millimeters why not same idea final 112 minus the original 97 we divide that by the original value multiply it up by 100 to get our value so let's see what we get this time uh, oh, actually what I should say is again let's just um, make a quick estimate it's gone up by about if we imagine that's a hundred roughly hundred that's roughly 110 it's gone up by about 10 percent so I'm expecting my value to be somewhere around that let's see what we get 112 minus 97 divided by 97 times 100 15 percent okay a little bit higher than I was expecting perhaps I was estimating 10 percent notice you know these differences that's three three off 100 that's two above 110 and that's where it comes from okay now if you noticed as well when I did this I went through every step so 112 minus 97 and I always press equals I think that's good practice um, again if you're confident with the maths and you know the order of your operations it's not so important but sometimes you'll be doing some maths and people just kind of rush through the operations and um, so for example if I did this 112 minus 97 divided by 97 equals 111 times 100 now I've not got an 11,100 percent increase what happened there was I put 112 minus 97 divided by 97 if you understand the order of operations the division bit comes first so it divided 97 by 97 which is 1 and it just did that so that's why I think it's always good practice especially here because obviously you've got to do it press equals after each thing think of each bit um, as being bracketed right the other um, time you'll come across it or the other problem one let's say this time I've got something at 97 millimeters this time our numbers lower now does it still work well yeah except something starts to happen so 97 oh sorry my final 85 minus 97 equals and notice now I'm getting a negative number and that's fine divide by 97 multiply up to get our percentage 
I've now got a, a negative value, minus 12.4%, if I round it off. The minus number is telling me that it's got smaller. Now I can tell that just by looking. I know that my final number is smaller than my um, bigger number, and that's why I know it's a, a negative. This is useful for you as well, because just look at the numbers first of all and think, is this number getting smaller or bigger? Has the percentage gone down or has the percentage gone up? Okay. Um, it's quite possible as well. Let's just throw another one in. Um, let's have 97. And this time, whatever we've done, it's gone up to um, 216. Okay. Um, so let's just go through it. It's going to be this number, 216 minus 97 equals divided by 97 equals times 100. And lo and behold, we've got a value that's above. 100%. Um, but that's fine. What that's saying is it's doubled in size. It's increased in size. It's gone from 97 to 216. It's more than doubled. In fact, it's gone up by 122%. And that's fine. Sometimes you might see that. That would be a very big increase. But just in case you, you somehow think that you can't go above 100%, of course you can.